This is me one day off social media. The day before I decided to quit social media, my phone screen time was 16 hours plus. So hopefully you can look at that 16 hours and feel a little bit better about yourself. And today came out to be two hours. 30 minutes of that was on safari trying to figure out what people substitute scrambled eggs with to make it vegan. So it definitely feels a lot lonelier. And I don't really know what to do about that. I think if you know me in real life, you have my number. You know where I live. Just like come hit me up. I need people to talk to and hang out with. Eventually it got to the point where like boredom and horniness kind of started blending into each other and definitely wasn't going to watch porn because that's what social media is on like steroids in terms of like how it affects you negatively. So everything was left to my imagination, which I'll be honest, isn't like, isn't worse by any means. It's like, go for, like do that. It's good. <laughs> that's some good vlog content. What happened? Do you charged me with your car, I grabbed my tennis racket, and then my balls rolled under my van and I had to get them. That is good vlog content. <laughs> yeah. And then today, I went the whole day using only two hours as we had friends over for the whole day. It kept me occupied and then when people started to leave, I started to panic. I was fortunate enough to have my friend Josh. I hit him up to play tennis and that was a good time. I miss tennis. Tennis is a lot of fun and I think it was just really nice to get out and see a friend and chit chat about things. I don't know what else to say. Hey guys, the wind was really strong and made the audio all bad. It was like, I'll just reenact what kind of happened, okay? Oh uh, yeah, here's the ball, Hench. Yeah, back at you, Josh. Oh yeah, go back at you, Hench. Oh yeah, I got this. Oh no, the ball went really hard. I was really happy to see like the performance of the last video. I got like nine comments. That was really exciting. I think it was pretty well received and it made me want to make more videos. So. It feels really privileged and like dumb to say, but even though I get to do a really fun thing, I still find it difficult to like be satisfied with the outcome of what I do. But I did get inspiration like throughout the day and I realized that I want to make videos about happiness. Oh, that sounds so dumb. So like a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, I took this like Coursera course about the science of what makes someone happy. Low key, like subtly transformed how I see myself in the world, like my mindset. And it has made me measurably happier. So I wanted to make videos about those because I feel like if I can just teach a little bit about what I know, then these videos might just have a point to them. People who make statements are the ones who walk around in their college sports gear. Those people are cool. At Langara? Yeah. <laughs> What's Langara? The Falcons. The Falcons. Langara Falcons. Okay, I think I feel like I've been talking for a while. Tomorrow's video will probably be about the happiness thing, or it will be something else. Yeah, that's right. I'm saying tomorrow there's going to be a video because I've realized if I'm not on social media, there's not much else to do. So I'll make videos, and then I'm going to get better at making videos, and then you're going to enjoy watching the videos, and then you're going to get to say you're like a day one, and it's going to be good. I'm going to have like views, and it's not really about the views. I just really like making videos. I didn't know that before. Yeah, a few hours later. Maybe. We'll see. Text, yeah. Peace.